Okay, so good morning, folks. And let us begin by singing, Open My Eyes, so if you open my eyes. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see. Open my ears, Lord, help me to hear your voice. Open my ears, Lord, help me to hear. Open my heart, Lord, help me to love like you. Open my heart, Lord, help me to love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we come together then to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let's first recall our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us then to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, you renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling. Grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, 
and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his good will. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. Praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Lord, be in your mind. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. glory. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, He went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go. Your son will live. The man believed what Jesus had said to him and left. When the man was on his way back, His slaves met him and told him that his son would live. He asked them when he began to recover. (coughs) They told him the fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was a second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we find ourselves on this day, of course, uh, Monday of the fourth week of, of Lent. And uh, yesterday we celebrated, of course, uh, the Sunday of the, fo- uh, this is the fourth Sunday of Lent, which is uh, Letare Sunday of, uh, or uh, the uh, Sunday of praise or of joy. And uh, as sometimes happens, the uh, Monday readings actually still continue with whatever the the theme was of the uh, of the previous of the previous day of the previous Sunday, and so we have a a first reading that uh, talks about uh, joy anyway, or the joy of following uh, God, that uh, following the Lord, that uh, things uh, would go well uh, for the people if they do so. And even the gospel reading today actually fits uh, the gospel uh, fits along the lines of the gospel reading that uh, at least on the f- the f- cycle A the the uh, we hear as well because uh, for Sunday because uh, yeah yesterday if uh, or on Sunday if if you were here for the five o'clock mass we did the uh, scrutiny 
on that day or the, the second scrutiny and that way the reading, the gospel reading for that, uh, for that, uh, mass is, uh, Jesus healing the man born blind. And, uh, today we hear of, uh, Jesus healing, uh, the son of a royal official. And, uh, so there's a kind of a connection there. And there's even a connection in terms of uh, who were these people who were given this this grace that uh, the uh, man born blind was, of course, of a poor family, as it were, but uh, not particularly important. And the uh, the people around him were debating whose fault was it, in fact, that he was born blind? Was it uh, fault of his parents? Was it the fault of him and of course Jesus responded it was nobody's fault uh, but in fact he was born this way for the glory of God and all of us are born for the glory of God and, but uh, Jesus healed that person and that really revealed Jesus's glory then uh, in this case uh, one say also that if Jesus wanted to uh, you know he could have found all sorts of excuses not to help him not to help the uh, the royal official, saying, you know, what are you doing, you, you know, rich and powerful man? You know, you you must be a sinner. He could be saying that. He could, you know, he could be, you know, saying that. Uh, you know, he's uh, to keep his position. He had to be a collaborator again with the Romans. He could have made an issue of that. No, he he. Uh, he assures the uh, the man that his son will be healed, and we hear that uh, as this official was going home, that uh, he found out that uh, that indeed his son was going to make it, and then found out that it was at the same, roughly the same time as when Jesus had talked to him the previous day. And this then underneath all of this is really the message uh, that, uh, again, that God came for everybody, that uh, God's love and God's mercy is uh, for all of us, you know, that uh, no one is excluded, uh, whether we are born poor or whether we're born uh, rich, whether whether our previous life uh, may have been complicated before or uh, even uh, sinful before, then in fact we are all God's children, we are all loved by God, and there is no, you know, no reason why we should fear that, uh, that God would not take us back. And so then uh, that is a reason for joy, a reason to be happy uh, uh, during this time. Let us remember that, both for ourselves and perhaps those who cause us trouble. And uh, we may not want to see God's mercy be expressed in their lives the way it's expressed in ours. Let us be appreciative that God truly loves us all. Okay? Very good. Please let us stand. And let us then take this time to present our petitions to our God. And so we first pray, of course, for the church, that it always and everywhere continue to proclaim well, the gospel, a message, the message of hope to, to all. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. Let's pray uh, then for... Uh, well, for, uh, for all who, who are in positions of authority, that they use that authority wisely. Uh, for this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Prayer. Let's pray then uh, for our community here, that, yeah, that we continue to always be joyful in our faith and to appreciate, in fact, all the good that God has given us. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. We pray then... Uh, yeah, for those who encounter them or find themselves in trouble or in difficulty, uh, those who are unemployed, underemployed, uh, for, for them, let us pray to the Lord. Pray then for those who, who find themselves ill or are caring for loved ones or worried about loved ones who find themselves ill. These include Maria Vivar, Jesus Okana, uh, David Bukovansky, Marlene Luis, Al Stensby, who continues to need our prayers, uh, Michael Bobel, uh, Hector Morayas, Rajas, Reynaldo Gonzalez, Ermina Munoz, the last three who are suffering still from COVID. For all of them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. 
Pray for those who've recently died, Adelita Ortiz, Philip Schultz, Juliana and Gary Obert, Josefina Hernandez, Efrain Fernandez Camines. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Pray. pray in a special way on this day for, uh, for uh, our father David. Uh, it's his, the anniversary of his brother Albert's death on this day. So for, uh, for both uh, Father David and for uh, Father, Father Albert, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. In that regard, also it is the anniversary of uh, the death of uh, Father Ed Penanzik, uh, Servite who was very active here in the years past. And uh, also two days ago, this is not a good time for Servites or even Southern California <laughs> Servites, uh, Brother, uh, Brother Alexis Olgien and uh, Father Mel Corcoran, who've also celebrated the anniversary of their deaths, uh, yeah, uh, uh, in these days for them, let us pray to the Lord. A prayer. We pray in a special way on this day for uh, the soul of Shirley Makaravich, Makaravich, uh, uh, for her and her family. Let us pray to the Lord. In silence, let us add our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God, we present these our petitions to you on this day. We ask that you hear them and that you grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. We continue with the liturgy of the Eucharist. with squirts. Okay. Okay. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. And wash away my iniquities, please and do then cleanse me from my sins. Our sacrifice is ready. So please pray, brothers and sisters, our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May we receive, O Lord, the effects uh, of, this whole, of this offering dedicated to you so that we may be cleansed from our old earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For uh, you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, and contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us then to imitate you in your kindness. And so then we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks. He broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world, spread throughout the world, give uh, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, the Seminole Founders of the Servite Order, St. Philip and Easy, here in our, here in our parish, and all the saints who've pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. For it is through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please then let us stand and let us then pray all together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Give us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but rather on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace, peace with you. Peace, peace, peace. And peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Please grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And we uh, pray then the uh, act of spiritual communion in favor of those who are watching us online. And so we say together, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Sorry. The body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. God for the Cristo. Body of Christ. God for the Cristo. The body of Christ. The body of Christ, the body of Christ, 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 body of Christ. Okay, 
A couple of announcements, folks. Uh, you know, first, uh, that uh, this week we have the third uh, session of our of our parish mission. Uh, tonight at seven, it's going to be offered in Spanish. Uh, you know, again, uh, by uh, you know, by Facebook, by Zoom, or if uh, if you just want, you can just come here and watch and participate in it uh, from here. Tonight it's in Spanish at seven o'clock. On Wednesday it will be in English. Then also to just prepare you guys, folks, uh, for uh, uh, for this Friday, that uh, we are going to be, uh, or the youth group is, res is responsible uh, this uh, coming Friday for the uh, Stations of the Cross and. Uh, Mrs. Diana Trout, she has it all planned out already, uh, and uh, but it's going to be in a different form. That uh, that uh, what uh, the the youth group did was they pre prepared the stations of the cross that you will be able to drive through it. That uh, we ask you, please come with your cell phone. Okay, uh, with you because you'll click like a QR code or whatever, and then in the parking lot there will be 14 stations, and at each station you will stop, and I think you hit like one or whatever, and it will give you the station uh, then, and then you go to the next one, you hit two, and then you know, so on and so forth, and this will happen uh, uh, to. Uh, on Friday between 6 and 8 p.m. You don't have to be here at 6. You can come at any time between those two times and you will be able to hear the stations in both English and Spanish, whichever language you, you want. And so it should be something very interesting anyway. Uh, so that's coming this Friday. But with that, then I just say, please, bring, uh, please come with your car. There won't be anything here. And uh, but uh, yeah, and with your cell phone, and it will play out outside. So uh, it promises to be something again different. Uh, this past Friday, we had the religious, the faith formation program offering the stations. We had some problem with the internet at the time, but on our Facebook page, we have uh, in fact all of the stations there. And uh, what was very cute there was the parish families, they dressed up as the various characters in the stations, and it, it's just adorable. So uh, please take a look at that uh, if you can. All right, uh, with that, we, uh, we are done. So please then let us stand. And I may be more optimistic than I should be, but all day yesterday, thus the internet or our, our live streaming worked very well. So hopefully, it will continue now uh, as well as well. So let let us uh, let us then pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, give us life by uh, making us new and sanctifying us, lead us to life, things eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God then bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Let us salute Mary. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To Thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To Thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, Thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of Thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Okay.